Russia's continued advances in the invasion of Ukraine have been aided by one key feature, a booming arms industry. Moscow has not only managed to withstand Western sanctions, it's gone on to produce weapons at record rates. For example, at the start of 2024, Russian capacity for long-range missiles had more than doubled in two years, aided in large part by external state actors. Among those, China has been blamed by the West for contributing the greatest percentage of military-related goods. What China is doing is providing um, invaluable support to Russia's defense industrial base that's helping Russia um, deal with the massive pressure that's been exerted through sanctions, through export controls and other measures. Unlike Iran and North Korea, Beijing has stopped short of delivering actual weapons, but Chinese firms still reportedly supply the parts that Russia needs to build them. Semiconductors have been delivered en masse, as well as navigation equipment, parts for fighter jets, and equipment for critical computer hardware. But that's not the only aid that Russia is receiving. In a twist of irony, parts have continued to arrive from the West itself. I'd like to remind you that on numerous occasions, Western-made components were found inside Russian rockets flying over Ukrainian heads. Components made in the United States, Canada, Japan, Germany, Italy and France have passed through third countries who haven't signed up to Western sanctions. Those items then get transferred to Russia. Policing the trade is also proving tough. As Moscow's advanced weapon systems have depleted, it's now turned to low-grade equipment, often used for civilian purposes, difficult to track or limit on the international market. Further sanctions on suppliers could also indirectly harm Kyiv, which benefits from similar equipment. Russia, meanwhile, continues to ramp up production, with defense spending increasing 68 percent from last year. For the West, the aim now is to focus on tightening sanctions and increase effective production support to Ukraine.